Hi and welcome to Talf Plater Mouse Channel. Today we have some awesome slugs made by a guy named Sam Strobel. His channel is called Subconscious Design. I hope you'll check out this video because these are not made like you think they are. Now these are some of the most ornate, fancy, schmancy slugs that we've ever shot. They look like something out of a, like one of those weirdo uh, role-playing games with some kind of enchanted uh, crystal thingies. And uh, they are designed to be shot out of a 12 gauge shotgun. Now Sam did a fantastic job making these things. Not only are the uh, they're just works of art, but they're also dimensionally perfect for a shotgun. Even though they're rather long, each one weighs about one ounce. He put nails and other things inside there, and it just uh, the effect of it is just really stunning. Now the first two I've just loaded right into the shell, and then the last two I used these really deep shot cups because these are a little smaller in size. So hopefully those will fit down the barrel, hit the rifling of the shotgun, and cause them to spin. Let's see what happens. All right, we're gonna shoot Sam's glass nail round here. Looks kinda like a Christmas ornament or an icicle. It's a, uh, an actual glass cylinder that has a nail embedded in it. Let's uh, see how it goes. Yeah, break action. <laughs> and prunes. Prunes. Glass number one. Okay, hit it. Wow. Oh, it was kind of an overcast day today, but still we got some really good imagery with the Kronos camera. As you can see, the majority of the slug shattered when it was shot but a big enough piece stayed on target and did a number on that clay block. Now I was quite surprised he was able to hit the clay block at all. Okay, hit it. Wow. Did that glass pour out of there? Yeah. yeah. Okay, hit it. Okay, in this shot, I removed the rifle choke tube some people call it a paradox, but watch this. The slug does a tumble and hits the vest nose first. Absolutely amazing. And one ounce of anything flying through the air is gonna do some serious damage. Okay, let's, let's have a look and see what exactly that slug did to that level 3A Kevlar vest. So uh, in doing Doug's autopsy, we approached this table and found uh, Kevlar strands mixed with Doug's internal foam and the pile of glass that you probably saw in the slow-mo. Inside of here, pieces of wire. Was that uh Yeah, I had nail or wire. Okay, that's little. jammed with shards of wire in it. And if you can see inside here, pulverized glass, dust. Oh boy. Filling that cavity but here's the cool thing this went right out the back holy wow it went right through a level 3a vest <laughs> into Doug right here holy sorry Doug we're gonna show your yeah, and there's there's glass on the back set show, holy show your, crap your Daytona Beach uh, dolphin tattoo but that thing went right in there <laughs> I did not expect that Sabo glass slugs Let's see how those work. Which gummy are you going to be aiming at? Go well, for the one on the left first. One on the left. Okay, anytime you're ready. It hit it. It hit it. It entered in one of these. I think it's this hole right here because it lines, oh. it lines up with this tear in Is the there back. Yeah, watch out in case there's glass. Yeah, there is. I think there's broken glass in that thing. It, I can't believe you hit it though. It appears to have come apart as it was flying through this because it scratched your uh, not the t oh the fancy garage sale table. Garage sale table there. 
with uh, some flying shards, you can see. Yeah, some blew up behind it. Now since we're using that heavy duty shot cup, we once again put the rifle choke tube on there. You can see that it is kind of spinning a little bit, but it is a little unstable. And once again, that thing turned and pointed nose first the moment right before it hit. And we can see a cloud of glass dust blowing out the back. Can it disable a go-kart today on Town Blader Mouse? Okay, go ahead. <laughs> oh! <laughs> and there you have it. Absolutely amazing. This one, it did shatter a little bit, but we had it big enough chunks flying through the air, and it went right through that crankcase of that lawnmower engine. I hope you enjoyed this video. We had a lot of fun making it. And also, be sure to check out Sam's video and see how these were made. I'll have a link in the description. Thank you very much for watching. Good day.